Welcome everybody to the second part uh, and thank you for supporting me in my membership. It's very much appreciated. So we'll take it from here uh, following the first part. This is the second part where we will continue. So let's go to the scene from here just to recap quickly. Remember that we went and created a height field uh, geometry to represent the cliff and the ocean bed we, create <coughs> we created the spectra and we make sure the volume will uh, output the surface SDF with velocity and hydrostatic pressure so it will be added to the fourth input of the flip solver and we created our geometry here for the collision and now We'll go, <coughs> sorry, we'll go and talk about foam. Let's go to the foam. So here, after the spectrum cooking, we ended up with a couple of volumes, phase, frequency, amplitude, mask, and for, for these are for both of the ocean spectrum and the ocean wave. So both of them will be needed for the ocean foam node. So this is the ocean foam node. Let me just cancel it and go to the first frame and select it. So here in the ocean foam, you have uh, two modes, either to emit the particle or to solve the motion of the particle also. So I went with the solving. I keep the setting all the same so I can have natural movement, but you will notice they are all flat on the surface because they need to be displaced so I catch them they are all points the more points the more detail and resolution you will have so all these points being cached they have age life and p scale and risk position total of uh, 2 million and I export them out to process them later now, from the compressed fluid here, let me have it here, I went out and started to create the white water. And the white water solver required two things. This is the solver. It need a volume, so I have a surface and velocity so it will move the particle accordingly and it will collide with the surface of the water or the ocean so it don't penetrate as needed and it will know where is the zero level so it can create the foam the spray and bubble and on the other hand it will need also volume to create the particle and the volume is called emit the same volume that uh, water uh, white water simulation will recognize so in the white water source I kept it all with the default setting so I have curvature acceleration vorticity and it's the uh, outputting a volume which is uh, sufficient with the default setting then I cache it as you can see so all this area is a pre-roll I mean, mainly it's after 60, it will start to kick in. Now, so for the white water simulation, quite simple. I have my geometry. I added a white water object. And the white water surface, I have the state attribute uh, added. And I kept it at 0.03. Change the seed little bit and make the lifespan of only 2 seconds. So it don't uh, freeze my machine. Foam, I enable the erosion and I enable the rebellion and uh, controlling the depth of mud for the adhesion. So it will stick. After that, I cache it. But to better view it, I added this attribute node. The CDR is the spray, the foam, and the bubble. And I save it as 
a preset. So as you can see here, these are the yeah, uh, blue, the bubble, green is the foam, and red is the spray that you can add it, take it for a further step and create another white water and have more particles or duplicate the particle itself. So as you can see, it's following the wave. And then I added the density attribute according to the particle age and life. These are the default uh, setting that will come with the white water preset. Maybe I can save it as save preset white water density save. So it will come each time. Then I rasterized the density, but I included not only the density, also the foam and the spray. I didn't add the bubble because uh, they will not be visualized nicely. And then we computed the gradient, how much deep the density is within the volume. Then we give it a cache. So this is our cache. And now we move to the second part, applying material. So we need material for the foam, sorry, uh, for the white water. I call it white water. And what else here? Yeah, I went outside. So I exported each one to its separated uh, layer. Like the foam here, we have something to talk about. So before the material, here I have the two dimension foam. I imported the ocean. And what I did, I want the bones to stick on the ocean surface. So we use ray. But before the ray, I wanted the foam to be at the top of the ocean so it will shoot rays and go down not in the uh, middle of it so I move it up then we added the ray and the ray we make it uh, minimum distance so as you can see here the bones are stick on the surface Then we cache it. And after that, because all of these are bones that have age, life, and P scale, I added attribute triangle. In this attribute, I decided the P scale to be 0 0.01. Then added this attribute that will affect the alpha the obesity of the particle so according to the age it will start to fade out so float of uh, living let's say is uh, to normalize the age is at age divided by the attribute of life okay that's the first argument then we store this normalized age in living that we will use it next now I added a float called test that will fit the range of the living between so it's a fit zero and one but i make it between one and zero so they will start their life with fully presented and uh, seen so obesity of one and during its age it will go down to zero and fade out and this attribute I add it to the alpha. So it's a uh, channel run, the, I call it evolution of the living. Or you can add the test also, it's the same. Because also this one is zeroed out, so it's going down. 
so as you can see here this is the alpha but it start at year one and with time take by what number okay so this for this one this is the alpha because it doesn't have the particle ID it's living but it's fading and this is the life and the living so see the living see and start to go down quickly after that we added material for it talking about material I have uniform volume for the, uh, the interior part of the ocean I kept it the same no changes just the greenish color so it will match I added ocean surface here also you can add the foam that we saved so it will be presented in the shader for extra uh, extra layer and we have the wave and I didn't play with it just the refraction color I changed it a little bit basic liquid I didn't use because I have the ocean surface much present uh, better because because this is the liquid this is the basic liquid this is how it will look good for a pool or a small lake but for ocean it's like this better and the white water I use a volume for it and increase the scale the rock and the dirt are from uh, mega scan no not from mega scan I took film from the material palette so we have the rock here I just used it and this is the ocean volume for the interior also it can be used this or this I use this one and for the foam it's a replica of the white water volume but inside the foam I bind my alpha that's the one we created which I multiply it by the uh, obesity float and the result of the outcome is added to the lighting com uh, compute lighting uh, obesity of the surface that's included in the output for rendering my renders were uh, in the top here let's cancel for a second sorry wrong tab so let me go to the first frame I go here I added a top network and in the top network these are my caching and here I added a rock karma So it will have the same setting of the karma and no need to create it in the output. See, go to page and it's a rock net and this is karma. And so this is uh, just another Solaris uh, layer. It will bring in all the material, all the object and create in the light and at the end we go to karma. So here I defined its uh, EXR or JPEG, define the camera, the samples and the limits and the motion blur also, it's on by default, but for the objects like the phone you go to render, sampling, you add the velocity blur to make it active and at the end you will have your render output, still it's render in the progress. So Hopefully you will enjoy it and I will leave the hip file in my Patreon 
and thank you very much for your support and input have a nice day